Hi everybody, today we're going to review a quick tutorial on how to use the Vanderbilt Library website to find and save a citation for a peer-reviewed article. So what I normally do is I navigate um, to the Vanderbilt Library page on Google. So you can just type in Vanderbilt Library and then you want to click on Herd Libraries. Once you're there, you can go to the login in the top right corner click on my account and you'll be asked normally to um, enter your VUNet ID. So that's, you know, the last, your last name, usually with a couple of initials and then your password. You'll sign in and once you're signed in, you can click on new search. And let's say you're interested in learning more about um, sleep patterns of teenagers and how that relates to screen time usage. So you'll want to think carefully about the keywords that you want to type in. So for us, um, it seems safe to type in um, adolescent sleep and how about screen time. So you want to make sure that you're not using articles like A and B um, or other ir irrelevant words. So you want to pick the most informative words that would help you narrow down the relevant articles and then you'll click enter. And you'll see that um, several articles pop up here. So there are 38,000 results. So let's narrow it down just a little bit if we can. So we're really interested in, let's say, what's happened um, not since 1900 to 2021, but how about 2018 to 2021? So we just change the date range over here on the left, then click refine, and then we see that we only have 8,000 articles to choose from now. So Let's review the titles and see if there's one that might be relevant for us. How about nighttime screen-based media device use in adolescent sleep and health-related quality of life? Let's click on that article. And if we give it just a second, it will navigate to a new page uh, where we have a little bit more details about that article. So you can see that you can download this article here by clicking on this button. So let's do that. It's going to navigate us to another page where you can see the full article. You scroll all the way down, you can see that you've got everything there you need. Um, and you can either um, download it by right clicking and doing save as, um, or you can, let's see, or Oh, my little screen recorder app is blocking me <laughs> from using the, the other way that I don't really like to do it. But anyway, you can right click and save that article, um, give it an informative heading. Normally, I like to save the first author's name. So Miraku, the year the paper was published, you can find it here, 2019, and then um, the first couple of words of the title. So nighttime screen use for adolescents is maybe what I would title this one when I save it. Save that in a meaningful spot. Um, eventually, you'll want to put it in your group's Google Drive folder so that you have an accumulation of your articles. And then once we teach you guys how to use the citation management software, um, you can save it there too. Uh, for the time being, it's also important uh, to have the citation so we can find this paper again. So if you click back on the library page, there's this little quotation button here. It says citation. You can click on it. It will give you um, the citation here in MLA 7th edition format. Um, this is fine for now, so you can just select it, copy it, and then paste it into um, your RS or weekly challenge for this week so that um, you know how to find this article again. And that is a four-minute tutorial of how to use the Vanderbilt <laughs> Library website.